Um, the other thing that in 23, which is really cool, is uh, unified search preferences. So before, if you change the uh, default search in the search bar, um, keyword URL and about home search uh, would all be a different preference. So if you wanted to change something, you had to change it in all three places. Um, this is something that a lot of add-ons and toolbars were taking advantage of. Uh, so they would change these preferences without consent from the user. Uh, the user would try to recover from this by changing the search bar back, um, and there's still their keyword URL and about home search would still be changed to uh, whatever this other search engine was. Uh, so now all of those preferences are linked together. Uh, there are going to be probably some power users that changed keyword URL or about home to something different on purpose. Um, there's already an, an add-on in place that uh, for those users so they can recover and, and run more than one search engine if they want to. Um, but we estimate that for the majority of users, they're going to want it to be a single search engine across the browser. Um, the only other thing to talk about today, oh, David, go ahead. So I, I'm just curious about this thing. I mean, this this is I I can see why this is a favorite feature for Tyler, because <laughs> you know based on all of our discussions around malicious add-ons and how they change this preference. But when you say that there's a there's an add-on to basically do what we have done previously in Firefox. That makes me wonder, is it possible for a malicious add-on to do the same? Uh, are we, is that changing anything if we're still allowing an add-on to override that consolidation? Or, or am I totally misunderstanding? Um, Tyler, do you want to take that? Yeah, so David, um, I mean, and it is possibly technical, technically possible for an add-on to still take over your search settings and make it difficult for you to remove them. Um, but that add-on would be malware, and we would block list that add-on as soon as we um, found out about it. The add-on that's on AMO, um, I mean, AMO add-ons are, add are extremely powerful, and they basically just recreated the whole keyword.url code and re-implemented that when you install that add-on. Um, so right. it would it would be hard for an actual for a malicious add-on to do that. Right, so the, the, okay. the change was made for a very, very specific reason, and um, we're enforcing this through, through our policies as well. So any add-on that, um, you know, purposefully then tried to circumvent that so that they could change uh, preferences without the user's consent would be in direct violation of our new policies as well. Um, so that would be grounds to, to ban them, um, you know, with, with, the, with the ban hammer, with impunity, so. Yeah. Yeah, so I guess what I'm saying is that that's great for the add-ons that are playing by the rules that right. are on a on AMO. Uh, it sounds like it wouldn't work for the for the add-ons that are outside of AMO and just installed by third-party application installers and whatnot. It'll it, it will cut down on that. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, there there will always be instances where people will try to circumvent our policies or circumvent the, uh, the, the security measures that we put in. But this is going to make it much more difficult. I mean, before it was just kind of an open door. Um, you know, any, right, any, yeah. anything could just, you know, uh, move things around, change settings. Um, this definitely makes it much more difficult for them to accomplish that. Wasn't, yes. awesome. wasn't one of the big deals, you know, when you installed some software, it would have a checkbox that would reset your keyword URL preference or your homepage preference. Um, and so now, um, uh, they can, they could still do that, but you could change it back by changing the search engine in the search bar. Absolutely. I mean, it, it still allows them to change keyword URL, but it puts the power back or change all of your search preferences, but it puts the power back into the user's hand to recover. Right. Um, so it, it makes the, uh, the UI to, to change that visible as opposed to having to go into uh, about config uh, and stuff. About config yeah. to change these things, yeah. Any other questions about 23? No? Okay. Um, then the only other thing, and this just uh, landed in my inbox about an hour ago, is that there seems to be a zero day exploit for ESR 17 that we are currently investigating. Um, it's got something to do with the uh, Tor browser. Um, so I've got a uh, link in there to the bug, and we're working on that. It looks like we'll probably do a chem spill for 17. Um, we don't think at this point that it's affecting other versions, but we'll definitely let you know. All right. Good to know. Um, thanks, Matt, for the updates. I guess if we want to say anything about this, uh, we'll just follow up on the bug, right? Yeah. Okay.
Perfect. All right, any other questions for Matt and desktop? If not, let's move on to Firefox for Android. Um, Roland is offline today, so I guess Michelle, you'll take this one or Tyler. Okay. I can actually take it unless, uh, Michelle, did you have anything to say? No, go for it. All right. So the big thing is Firefox 23 is landing tomorrow. We have a bunch of user-facing changes, but it's a whole bunch of small changes. Um, one of the big ones will be that we hide the URL bar as you scroll down, a dynamic URL toolbar. Um, that may confuse a few users, um, but all they have to do is just swipe back up and the URL bar will appear again. Um, a bunch of other minor um, fixes, but it overall should be a really nice release. Okay, so fingers crossed for a smooth release and no major issues. Cool. Um, any other questions for Tyler? Okay, uh, let's move on to Firefox OS. Now, Michelle, that's you. That's me. Um, right, so uh, I just got a message. Hermina and Chang are safely in Colombia. Yay! So they're watching some user studies uh, for version 1.1, which is very exciting. And um, so that's where they are today. Uh, I wanted to thank everyone for great work on answering Firefox OS questions in Spanish and Polish. We're getting, uh, you know, like a question every day out there on uh, the forums. So. Thanks for keeping up with that. We're getting questions on our English forum too. But um, for the last couple of weeks, they haven't been tagged with the Firefox OS uh, topic. And um, thanks to Andrew for finding this last week at the Sumo Day, I think. <laughs> he noticed this. So um, a few slipped through there. I don't know if we're going to get those topics put back on there. Eva, I, I know you and I chatted about this last week or if people should update their feed they sh yeah i mean the, the the whole thing is that the product is still there so if somebody wants to see five toxic topics they shouldn't use the tag they should use the product drop down and if they really will, i mean if they feel that it's, it's important to have the tag to just go ahead and add it manually there are like i don't know a dozen tops that have that no, not even a dozen, because it's just a dozen total Firefox OS product threads are missing tags, uh, but not all of them are Firefox OS related. So yeah, manually add it if you want it. But do we still have the ability to get a feed off of the product topic? Yeah. Okay. How do you do that? Is that just a link to the, once you pick the product, you copy that URL? Uh, you can you can take it from from Firefox basically, right? Subscribe to this page thing. Yeah. Is there a subscribe to this page for the product? Okay. Oh. Okay. Um, so, anyways, those questions were answered, anyways, even though <laughs> some of us weren't seeing them. Uh, so, thanks to everybody for keeping an eye out for those. Um, I mean, just to be clear, the, the threads were available for anyone watching yes, they everything. Were. I know, yeah. <laughs> they just weren't getting tagged. Um, How do you subscribe to the product selector, just so everyone knows? Can someone I share use, the information I, to do that? I, I pasted the URL. I mean, there is a nice drop down on the top of the, the site that allows you to select one product. So if you want to work on Firefox so, only, you can just select Firefox OS as a product, or you can select only uh, uh, Firefox or Firefox or Android. Yeah, uh, sorry, I wasn't on IRC, so that's why I probably didn't see it. I joined so, Sumo now, if you can send me the link again. Okay. But I'm, I'm, so when you say feed, you mean basically the view, the listing of, yeah. of threads. But you can get an RSS feed too, right? Well, that's what specific. I thought Michelle meant, yeah. but maybe not. Uh, I'm not sure if you can actually get a feed for just a product. Uh, it could be, but is that something that people actually are using? Because yeah. the last time we asked about, okay. Yeah, that's what, I mean, 
that's the reason I wasn't seeing them is because you could get a feed before if you can get a feed from the product then that's fine but, I, okay. but if you can't then I would like to see it added back as so, a so let's, tag. let's test it to see if it works now okay um, and if it doesn't then we need to correct this Okay, um, we do have a list of help articles that we need to update with some tips and FAQs based on our first month of questions. Um, I think our top question is WhatsApp. And then the second top question is probably ringtones. How do I customize my ringtone? Um, I don't know. And then maybe other questions about um, other apps that people are looking for, I think import contacts, pretty popular. So I would say those are the top three. Um, we had a lot of um, blogging and communication from Mozilla about the release cadence. So then we had a bunch of questions about version 1.1 also. Um, and some questions about maps. So maybe that's a top five for you just to get a sense of our first month. Um, so we'll update, uh, there are a few articles we can still update for that this week. Uh, just to share, sort of um, -do uh, document the apps we have in the marketplace for importing contacts, for example. So thanks for everyone's help on the KB. We also have um, version 1.1 content that we need to document. It's a lot of MMS. Uh, dialer, there's a few things in dialer and email also in version 1.1, exciting uh, new features and in the browser for downloading stuff, which is cool. So uh, we will get a list posted of those this week so people can start working on the English content. And at our mobile meeting last week, if you missed it, we saw an awesome prototype from Simo Dev from Michael and the intern about a Sumo app for the marketplace. Well, it's not in the marketplace yet, um, but uh, hopefully it will be uh, soon. There's still work to do, of course, to sort of finish it up and appify it, but you could have uh, the mobile Sumo in the marketplace and download offline all the documentation for any of our Mozilla products Whoa. and have it there on your on your mobile device uh, for ready for you uh, to read when you don't have internet so yes David that's pretty awesome can you share a link to that on in this in the meeting notes here I'd like to test that if it's if yeah. even if it's a, just a prototype that sounds awesome is it in your notes unfortunately no, unfortunately, it's a total prototype, so it's also not online. Um, ah. we, we just put that online for test for during the uh, mobile meeting. But uh, Shuhao is working on it, so we actually want to have it polished up and be able to, to um, uh, productize. So he's going to work on that, and as soon as that work is done, uh, we'll be able to share that. And uh, we also got some feedback that's also going to get incorporated. Um, so unfortunately, not online for now. Wow, that's so but much exciting stuff. We have a video of stuff. the mobile meeting uh, that you could watch. You could watch the mobile meeting from last week. Okay, I can and, review uh, the video and then I can see this being demoed. Is what you're saying? Yes. Okay. Because it was on stage uh, for a little bit, so they could demo it. Well, that's really um, great. I should take vacation more often. <laughs> a lot of good progress here. <laughs> yeah. So it's awesome, and that um, it's also you know the. The way that we help the most users is through the content, so keep up the great work on all the KB stuff because um, people having the ability to have this offline, um, all the content for any of our products is super powerful. So, so that's it for Firefox OS. Any questions? Yes, Michael? Well, I didn't, I missed the round table part, but I have some stuff to, to add from my, because I was just in Columbia for the beginning of that. Um, thing uh user testing oh thing. yeah yeah because you were there last week yeah for the testing yeah sweet i watched a few of them so, so cool. um yeah a couple of things that were really um interesting so all the the uh Moby, Moby star stores you know the employees were wearing firefox os t-shirts 
Um, a couple of them had like a pedestal with a with a Alcatel device on it um, for people to play around with. Um, uh, most of them just had like the Alcatel and the and the ZTE device like in a case, um, but they all had stuff um, in stock. I think except for one one place we checked didn't have any in stock on the first day, but all the others did. Even like out That's in great. the suburbs, in like the reseller places, they had a couple of devices of each, like four or five That's of wonderful. each. Um, almost everyone's hey, first. Hey, Michael. Yes. Uh, you're you're breaking up a little bit. Sorry. I had to I had to double check on RC if I was the only one because I felt like, uh, a, like a bit of deja vu. But you're you're voiping a little bit. Okay. I'm on Mozilla Guest. I just I walked in the office and realized I'm in a wrong a different time zone. You can't hear me. Huh. <laughs> no. He's on the he's on the Melt Internet right now. Uh. <laughs> An accident. No. Just well, if 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 other people can hear him, I I shouldn't stop no. you from providing the updates. But but if it's as bad for everyone else as it is for me, then if you can provide this update in in text, that would be awesome. It sounds it. like you have a lot of things to add here. Yeah, yeah. sorry about that. Or you can record it and <laughs> shoot no. us a video. You're good at that. <laughs> <laughs> it's the office room. Huh. Sorry about that. Okay, so we need to stop being polite and uh, and not have people talking just because <laughs> we don't want to interrupt them. I'm so used to voiping that I can make out. I can make out everything you're saying with only half a word. <laughs> yeah, you, you know, Michelle, that's why I was unsure if it was just me because you were like, yeah, exactly, yeah, and, sure. and you were saying things to support what, what he was read you know, lips, voiping about. <laughs> So you were building on his voiping. That 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 was a new one for me. <laughs> <laughs> he was saying that's they had really phones scary. everywhere. They ha he said they have phones even in the rural uh, stores, even out in the burbs, and everybody's wearing t-shirts and and they Yeah, no, no, I could I could actually pick that up. So you you're right. There, yeah. there, there were some things coming out of of the voiping for sure. <laughs> All right. Um, then let's move on. Any other questions for Firefox OS and Michelle? Or Michael, that he will update, update us later. Um, if not, let's move on. Uh, I skipped Thunderbird because Roland is not here. So let's just go to metrics. All right. Good year. A uh, quick update on metrics. Actually, I also sound like a broken record, but um, <laughs> it's kind of flat. Uh, so there's not much going on with the metrics in either direction. Um, the one thing that I wanted to mention, though, and this is actually a little bit develop this is development related, but it's been a pet peeve of mine for quite some time, and now we're finally getting to it. it is, um, you know, so far when you look at the dashboard, what you see is the last uh, part. If you have a weekly view, uh, is cut off. Uh, so we show you half the data for the for the last week, but then it looks like everything is going down, and that's kind of kind of looks bad, but it also gives you the wrong impression of, of where the data is going. So we are going to invest a little bit of time in this uh, sprint, and we're going to cut off uh, at that point where we have the full data. Uh, that's also what Google Analytics is doing, uh, we found out, which makes sense, because it really gives you, at first sight, it otherwise gives you a wrong impression. So from uh, the next sprint on, you will see that uh, the data on the uh, KPI dashboard will actually look Right, because we only take the full time frame. That, that's all I have uh, for for metrics. Other than that, it's it's really the metrics are kind of flat. Maybe it's the summer, maybe it's something else. But yeah. All right. Thanks, Kadir. Any questions for metrics? Should we give Michael another chance? <laughs> Yes, Michael, try. Uh, really Say quick. something. Um, I added oh. WebMaker to the KB. Um, they're going to approve their articles. They're just getting started. There's only a few articles, and so stuff will start showing up. Um, there's the URL there. Um, what else? Um, we need to figure out what uh, articles to change for Firefox 24 this week. There's um, Research has been happening. Now it's... Uh, 
time to make sure we've got all the little pieces and figure out which articles are. Michael, I, I, we can't hear you. It's yeah. Don't worry about it. You you <laughs> managed to to go well for the first thirty seconds, so that's uh, all right. Okay. Anyway, we'll just have your updates uh, in the Etherpad, um, and then we can talk about them more when you're in a. <laughs> when, I'm not in, when I'm not in Mozilla headquarters, give me a break. <laughs> okay. I'll go back to the know. hotel. <laughs> oh, it's so true. I've had to go back home twice in the last two weeks from SF because there's Zippo, nothing. No, on our, yeah. at our web company. Yeah. It's, it's, they're, they're working out the kinks now that we're on so many floors over there. It's not fun. Um, just so you know, you're. You're not alone. <laughs> Love the view, though, it's on seventh floor. View. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah, just go out on the patio. <laughs> yeah, Google has the the uh, guest connection, so maybe you can try one. <laughs> right. That's a, a wonderful idea. <laughs> OK, um, so I guess we won't have any questions for Michael. Um, and then Rosanna is offline today, so we won't be talking about the about the OpenM. So I'll just move on to the support forum. Um, we had a sumo day last week, where I wasn't present because I was sick, but it kept going. Um, we had ninety six percent of the questions uh, posted there answered, uh, which is a good result uh, considering we are uh in holidays most of us so we're actually having quite steady results considering the holidays i was expecting to for the graphic to actually go down but we're doing quite well both in a uh, number of questions as well in um solve rate so we're keeping it up keeping it up hopefully nothing major will be impacted for the month of august as well fingers crossed so thanks everybody who participated in the sumo day and who's answering constantly on the forum. Um, you know, we couldn't do it without you. So thanks once again. Uh, and something else, we're actually working on having separated KPI dashboards per locale. I'm not sure how many people know that the KPI dashboard that we have right now is actually including all the locales. So everything that is a localized forum for now is just Portuguese, it's included there. So the results that you're seeing are for um, English and Portuguese all together. So we're working to to have like a separate dashboard uh, for Portuguese and of course for the, the forums that will be coming afterwards, uh, just to be able to, to see what's happening on each forum. And of course, we'll keep the, um, the aggregate, aggregate KPI dashboard for everything to have like a general overview. Um, and yeah, as it was already discussed in the meeting, tomorrow is Firefox 23, so keep an eye. There are any major issues coming up on the support forum, and then report them in the thread. You have the link there. Um, so hopefully this release will go smoothly, and we won't have any any issues whatsoever. So yeah, that's about it, I guess. Do you have any questions about the support forum? I guess I have a question about the dashboard you talked about. Is that something that I assume that that would also be true for the, the knowledge base related KPIs that we will be able to select between locales or for all locales? Or is this just for the forum? So right now I was talking only about the forum. Um, okay. But I assume that this is what are working on right now with the localization or am I wrong could you actually I didn't hear what uh, David was saying so could you say that again David I was asking about the KPI dashboard and the the fact that we'll be able to filter between locales when we look at the the forum specific KPIs and my question is is that is, is that applicable to all of our KPIs I mean knowledge base as well yeah it's actually, Good. yes, uh, absolutely, it goes across all locales. For the knowledge base, we actually have this on each of the uh, knowledge base page. Uh, we already have that separation. So if you go on the localization dashboard, you will see the helpfulness per locale. So if you go on the German uh, localization dashboard, you will see the helpfulness in the KV, in the German KV. If you go in the, on the English one, you will see the one for, for English. 
Um, uh, really? Yeah. I mean, that's not what I'm. If I'm looking at the helpful votes, for example, on my ENUS KPI dashboard, are you saying that I'm seeing it just in English? No, that's everybody. Uh, that's what I'm asking. Like, is are, are we making this locale separation across the board so you can select between all locales oh. or a specific locale? Uh, yeah, specific no. locales are separated. Yes. Uh, so, but but the KPI that is, there is only one KPI dashboard. Uh, it doesn't matter what UI language you have; it's always the same data. Uh, but we have specific dashboards uh, for features, like for uh, not for features, but for functional areas. So the KB has its own uh, localization dashboard, and on that localization dashboard, you can see the actual results just for for German, for example. But the KPI dashboard. It's where we have the overview over everything. So we don't care uh, whether uh, English has uh, one, one value and German has the other value. We care about all of them combined. So uh, this is, this is the KPI dashboard is a high level look at all of our visitors and how they are voting. OK. Um, yeah, I have some thoughts around that, but we can take it offline. I'm, I'm, I guess I'm, I'm curious about how we can distinguish ENUS specific contributions versus uh, everything combined for stuff like helpfulness and, and things like that. But we can take that offline. Yeah. Thanks for the explanation. All right. All right. Uh, thanks, Kadir, for the explanation. So let's move on to contributors of the week. We have a lot of contributors of the week, like this week. So I'm very happy to read my nomination and then everybody can read theirs. Um, so I'm nominating Corel uh, for his awesome job on the sport forum all the time, but also especially because uh, last week he, he started searching across the web for all the local Firefox support forums and he arranged them by locale. So we kind of know exactly in which locale who has a support form and who doesn't. So that's great work. Thanks so much, Corel. And of course, you know, where did he's you always, put that? Where, that's um, awesome. That was actually a question I was thinking of when you were talking about the support form just now. <laughs> yeah, uh, there is a, a thread uh, where we are talking about forum guidelines um, and he put them there, but I can like send them to you if you need them. Awesome. Yeah, and we actually have an Etherpad where we'll have all these uh, all these links, so then we know how we're doing in each in each locale. Of course, they won't. I mean, not everybody has a support forum, but there are a lot of locales which who have a support forum and we didn't even know about it. So that's great. Um, yeah. So thanks, Corel. Uh, you're a contributor of the week. Oh. Oh. So uh, then we have two other nominations from Michael. Oh, the, this, or... uh, this one was mine for. Oh, um, yours, sorry. Um, Teo? Theo? Theo? For, um, <laughs> Theo? Uh, for awesome work on Firefox OS. Polish localization. Um, this contributor has gone through and updated every single screenshot for Firefox OS as well into Polish and added new screenshots for um, new content in Polish and helped to localize the whole uh, KB for Firefox OS into Polish. And so a huge amount of work and really great stuff. And um, so thanks to Theo. And um, and I also wanted to mention Fear56 for his awesome work on English KB for Firefox OS. He also um, wrote up seven new canned responses for the forum last week, and um, is digging up all these all the Firefox OS questions, making sure that they're getting answered in English. So so thanks to Andrew and Teo. You guys are awesome. Thanks, guys. Well done. Um, Ralph, I think these yeah. are yours. Yeah, I added a couple of them also. Um, so thanks uh, for uh, Daniel, and Danielle and Sebastian for uh, volunteer to help uh, at the last minute notice uh, for helping with the uh, beta testing program that they're doing in Colombia. And thanks a lot for uh, Gloria also for, uh, for indicating and for pointing me in the right direction. Um, 
Um, and in the Brazil side, uh, thanks to Zilma for signing up to do a talk uh, about Sumo and about Mozilla. Uh, he just joined. Uh, he just joined the community just a few weeks ago, uh, back in Fizzly, uh, and he's already signing up to to the talks. Uh, he's been very active. So, uh, thanks to thanks very much to those four people. Uh, awesome, awesome work. All right. Great work. Well done. <laughs> Hey, wow, that's uh, awesome. Madalena, yes. I, I don't know if you have an updated magnet um, presentation, but um, we gave the your original one to Zilmar for his talk. So I don't know if you have a new one. Uh, no, because um, we haven't been in you know, like a major event. Since no updates to it. I mean, he said it was yeah. perfect for what he needed. So just so you know, yeah. I posted it on wiki.mozilla. Org, oh, so that's awesome. Great. Yeah, feel free to give it to whoever um, okay. they can hack on it and do whatever they want with it, change it completely. Um, so I'm, I'm actually happy that people are actually using that template. So yeah. Okay. Close. Cool. Right. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven contributors of the week this week. So well done, everybody. And thanks for nominating people. This is very, very valuable to us. Uh, and yeah, thanks guys for your awesome work. You are contributors of the week. You are the stars of the Sumo community this week. So <laughs> good to see you guys. Um, just a, a yes. quick, I, I guess we're not actually, not, this is not just nomination, this, the, everyone is winning, right? It's, we're not picking the winner out of these five, right? Everybody just, wins. No. We're all everybody winners. wins. Everybody winning! Wins. <laughs> it's like paradise. Everybody <laughs> wins. I love that. I just everybody wanted to make sure. Everybody is a star in the sumo community, so we cannot discriminate. And the snowflake, I'd add. <laughs> All right, um, we have, oh, we actually have 11 more minutes. So it's time for some unicorns. <laughs> Who wants to do it? Actually, David, you owe us a unicorn. No, 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 that's not how we work. It, actually, the way it should work <laughs> is that we nominate, we decide who's doing it in advance because I need preparation for, for anything <laughs> that I'm, I, I'm looking around. There's nothing I can share that will, will delight you. Except my my messy desktop, uh, which wouldn't delight you. So, I cannot do it this week. I'm sorry. Uh, you were on vacation. You're in email hell. You are forgiven. Yeah. Um, you actually, what you can do is you can check out my Instagram uh, stream, and you can see some my my uh, obsession with macro photography. It's actually something that I I've I've enjoyed quite a lot this weekend or this this vacation. So. But th so that's my show and tell. Maybe I can just paste a link. Yeah, that, put a link there. Yes, okay. Please. There's some good ones. Oh, you already saw them. He's been posting them on Facebook and Twitter. Links to them. There's some. There's some pretty awesome photos. Okay, I pasted okay. a link in Pound Sumo. So macro is the is the new uh, is the new back. <laughs> that's that's my unicorn. All right. Great. So then we need to nominate somebody for next week. Tantani, who didn't do it? Michelle, you I think it should be, it? it should totally be, uh, well, have, it's, will, it's impossible that everyone has done it, so I think Michelle should do it. Okay. <laughs> 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 So because nobody did it, Michelle, you have to do it. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. It's, I'm it's on it. Well, it's sweet. On it. Can't say right. anyone want any time. Awesome. <laughs> and, you know, the other people who did not do it, I know who you are. So don't think you're going to, you know, not do it. So I have a list here. And now it's Michelle. But next week it will be somebody else. And I go to choose. Well, it's either me, myself, or Zana who would choose. I was going to say, I know who you are, so, uh, <laughs> but, but yes, thanks for keeping track. All right. Great stuff. Uh, well, we're pretty much done. Uh, so thanks for the meeting. Now, please take a look at David's macro photography. You have the link there. Uh, it's a good time, to, a good to, way to spend your, your next few minutes. 
Actually, I in had a break, no. in the break room. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Is, is that it? Jacob? Yeah. Hi. My name's Jacob. Okay. Um, I wrote myself. Hi, I saw you IRC, so I jumped, jumped in. Um, uh, I work for Mofo, the foundation. On um, I work with Breckler on the Webmaker project, and so uh, me and Ibai and, and Michael Verdi have been working on getting a Webmaker product on Sumo. So I just wanted to say hello and let you know that that's what I'm doing. And I think I think Michael had an update that was all choppy that was mentioning something to that extent. Um, but anyhow, yeah. So I'm I'm the guy who's writing the new articles for Webmaker. And I'm really awesome. excited. Yeah. I'll come to Hello. 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 Yeah, very nice Yay. to meet you. And it's a big surprise. We didn't know we we're going to have you here. And she's like something popping up at the end of the meeting. That's awesome. Yeah. Unicorn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're yeah, I don't know my about this unicorn now. ritual. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so are we going to have you regularly on this meeting? or? Uh, I, so I don't know. Is that. Mondays at nine. I usually meet with the dev team on Mondays at nine, but I can ask Brett. Or right. Yeah, you, I mean, you're more day. you're more than welcome to check it out and see if it's useful uh, for you to be part of it. It might be that you want to provide an update uh, and then drop off. I've seen that a lot in other meetings that pe some people don't stay the you know throughout the whole meeting, but if you have time for it, you, you know it would certainly excite us. Yeah. Yeah, I mean they'll get some. We get a lot of help requests, so I think there'll be some activity to talk mm -hmm. about once this thing kicks off. Cool. Cool. All right. So then we're looking forward to seeing more of you on Mondays. Um, and maybe you do unicorn. I'll explain later what that means. I think this is really great. <laughs> Probably best, yeah. <laughs> yeah. OK. Well, once again, thanks for the meeting. Uh, we have an action item, Michelle and myself, to check out the, if the feed works for um, Firefox OS on, on the forum. If not, we'll add a bug. Um, and that's about it. Have a great day. Have a great week. Have a sunny week. Not too hot, though. And I'll see you online. <laughs> thanks, Madalena. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thanks. Ralph, Verdi, I'll see you.